The PowerMax 30XP is a versatile and powerful plasma system. This brief movie is designed to provide you with basic information on PowerMax 30XP system setup and operation, as well as tips to optimize cut quality and consumable life. The PowerMax 30XP is easy to set up and operate, but please be sure to follow all safety instructions mentioned in the operator manual or illustrated on the labels on the system. It is extremely important that operators fully understand and follow preventative methods to guard against electrical shock and to protect skin, ears, lungs, and eyes. The PowerMax 30XP has a two-in-one design. It is designed for high power cutting of thick metal using the standard consumables and for detailed thin metal cutting using the fine cut consumables. Setting up the PowerMax 30XP for cutting operation can be done in six easy steps. First, verify the installation of the torch consumables or change them according to your incoming power. The system is shipped with the standard consumables installed on the torch. These consumables are designed for a broad range of cutting applications. However, operation on circuits less than 190 volts with the standard consumables is not recommended due to possible circuit overload and breaker activation. These consumables are identifiable by their part numbers and the etched rings around the parts. To verify that the consumables are installed correctly or to insert the fine cut parts, unscrew the retaining cap to remove all the consumable parts. Replace the parts by first screwing the standard shield or fine cut deflector onto the retaining cap, followed by the standard nozzle or fine cut nozzle, then swirl ring and finally the electrode. Screw the retaining cap on until finger tight. Do not over tighten as the consumables may become damaged and interfere with proper operation. Second, plug the power cord into the proper receptacle. Depending on your model, this may require attaching a plug adapter. On some models, a plug may not be attached to the power cord. If the installation of a plug is required, or the system is to be hardwired to a power source, the work must be done by a licensed electrician. For input voltage requirements, refer to the data plate on the bottom of the system or the operator manual. Third, adjust the amperage knob to the appropriate output based on the incoming power and breaker size. Fourth, pull back the quick release collar on the gas hose and connect it to the quick disconnect fitting. If the fitting does not match the hose collar, then install the proper fitting. The gas can be bottled nitrogen, bottled air, or compressed air. Air should be filtered to remove all dirt, water, and oil because contaminants can damage the power supply, torch, and consumable parts. The recommended inlet pressure is 5.5 to 6.9 bar, or 80 to 100 PSI. Fifth, attach the work clamp securely to the workpiece. Rust, paint, or coatings must be removed to ensure that the clamp has a good electrical contact. The work clamp should never be attached to the portion of the metal that will fall away. Sixth, power on the system. The power lamp on the front of the system will illuminate. We are now ready to begin cutting. If cutting thin metal, the amperage may be lowered for improved consumable life, better cut quality, and for less smoke. To perform an edge start, hold the torch vertically just off the edge of the workpiece. Flip the safety trigger forward and press the red torch trigger. The pilot arc transfers to the workpiece and becomes the cutting arc. Pause at the edge until the arc has completely cut through the workpiece, then proceed with the cut. Avoid unnecessary starts because they reduce nozzle and electrode life. The standard shield and fine cut nozzle may be dragged on the workpiece for ease of cutting. When nearing the end of a cut on thick metal, angle the torch into the direction of the cut, allowing the arc to come out first to ensure a complete cut. Maintaining proper travel speed is key to successful cutting. Watch the arc beneath the plate as sparks should lag 15 to 30 degrees behind the cut. If the sparks are vertical, then the speed is too slow. 
If the sparks are perpendicular to the cut or are spraying up from the workpiece, then the speed is too fast or the system does not have sufficient power. Lag lines on the finished cut edge should also be about 15 to 30 degrees. A plasma cutting guide, straight edge, or template can be used to guide the torch. However, the distance from the shield center to the edge must be factored in when creating a template or placing the straight edge. If beveling using an angle iron, plasma cutting guide, or freehand, remember that the material thickness increases proportionally with the bevel angle. Depending on the thickness of the metal being pierced, there are two methods of piercing. If piercing thin metal, hold the torch perpendicular to the workpiece and pull the trigger to transfer the arc. If piercing thick metal, hold the torch at an angle so that the nozzle is within 1 16th inch or 1.5 millimeters from the workpiece. Pull the trigger to start the arc, then slowly rotate the torch to an upright position. In both methods, when sparks are exiting from the bottom of the workpiece, the metal has been pierced and cutting can begin. To prolong the life of consumables, it's recommended that the second method be used to minimize damage to the consumables caused by molten metal blowback. You can use the PowerMax 30 XP with the standard consumables for light gouging applications, such as the removal of spot welds and tack welds. To gouge, Hold the torch at approximately a 45 degree angle from the workpiece with a small gap between the torch tip and the workpiece. Then pull the trigger to transfer the arc. Maintain this angle and slowly move the torch along the workpiece to remove unwanted metal or weld. If a shallower gouge is desired, decrease the angle of the torch. For a deeper gouge, increase the angle of the torch or make additional passes. If you want to move the torch at a slower speed for greater control, then lower the amperage. Cut quality and consumable life are often very important to operators. To ensure that the torch consumables last as long as they are designed to last and perform to hypertherm specifications, follow the instructions in this video, refer to the operator manual or setup card for more information, and follow proper system maintenance procedures. A number of factors determine how long consumables last. Air quality, piercing technique, length of cut or gouge, operator skill, material thickness, and material type each plays a role. Reduce system performance and cut